Hey folks, I want to talk to you today for a minute about the weather. Now, I don't want to try to ever predict the weather, but let's talk about how the, my opinion of how the winds uh, can affect our fishing sometimes. You know, when we look at weather this time of year and we look at cold fronts and, and warming trends and barometric pressures and stuff like that, that we take into consideration when we're planning our day. Uh, one of the things we've seen this past week is actually having to plan uh, or try to figure out what these fish are doing under these higher winds that we've had. With the you know 20 to 30 mile an hour north winds that we had followed by hard south winds, what it's done is it has kept the bait and kept the fish hunkered down in a little deeper water than what we normally fish. Um, you know, for, for us, waist deep is too deep sometimes. But in this instance, this past week, uh, waist deep has, you know, crotch to waist deep has been the mark, really. Um, and it's interesting to watch this event unfold um, that none of the bait has has moved up none of the fish have moved up they're all congregated what we call kind of out in the middle together and you know for that you're having to go through a, a bunch of redfish and and a bunch of just keeper sized trout but if you just keep your head down and stay with it there's some very nice trout mixed in now I would suspect that we'll see this pattern change over the course of the next couple days if we can keep you know our typical 10 to 15 mile an hour wind I think under those conditions these fish will start to uh, start to change their pattern and follow the bait fish and possibly pull up a little shallower but until then fish the bait you know where we looked the last couple days, you know, it's a little bit of bait, but not much. And then we'd find all the bait piled up out in the middle, out deep. And sure enough, jump out and make a couple wades, and there they were. Now, usually, you know, I, I do say find the bait and you'll find the fish. And sometimes you have to think outside the box, and it kind of taught me a lesson this week too. You know, temperatures, water temps, air temps, pressures, all told me that the fish should be, you know, shallower than crotch to waist deep, which in fact, they stayed hunkered down. They stayed hunkered down out in the middle. And after two or three wades where we struck out, uh, running along, started noticing a lot of bait popping in, in deeper water and just gave it a try. You know, and, and, and again, it, it worked. So again, I encourage you to think outside the box under windy conditions, under certain conditions, especially when you have a cranking wind for three or four days and try things that you're not normal, you know, that you don't normally try. And I think you'll find maybe it'll work out. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope it helps. Uh, you know, it's definitely something I'm going to log into my memory bank. But uh, give it a try next time you're faced with tough conditions and see what happens. Y'all have a good one.